while it is important to select the proper light to use. Also, how you place that light in relation to your plants is of equal or sometimes even greater importance to ensure maximum yield without doing excessive plant damage. So when we're mounting our lights, use of quality ratchet hangers is advised for ease of installation and added advantage of being able to adjust the height of the light. Be sure to atta um, the attachment rings are fully encapsulated and not open S-curves. These are fully uh, encapsulated. Sometimes you'll see some that just have like an S and they just kind of hook on to different areas. Not advised because those could easily slip or if you bump the light, it could cause the light to fall and damage you and or the plants. One minimum of an eighth inch, but quarter inch is preferred when you're going to buy these, uh, with each being able to support about 150 pounds or so for the pair in this example. So you can always up it a little bit more, always worth going with a little bit higher uh, rating than a little bit less of a rating. And here's the example here is that if you pull on the ratchet strap, that'll help increase um, the height of this light, and that can be utilized well as the plants grow to maintain an equal distance. Now, distance off of those lights to the plants. Light should be kept a constant distance from the plants, but remember that plants grow. So if you fix the light in a certain area, it could be a challenge. Using those ratchet straps will allow you to raise the light as the plants are growing, uh, which makes for great consistent conditions. This is important because the distance can vastly reduce the light intensity, which could cause plants to stretch. So just mount the light really high and say, oh, they can use diffuse light. And if they're not getting enough light, they could stretch and that could cause all sorts of issues as you get later in the growth cycle. This is because there's an exponential decay of light. It follows the inverse square law for light as you increase the distance. Uh, this is the relationship between the light source and the distance the light needs to travel. And as we get further away in distance, we have an exponentially decreasing amount of light intensity. The intensity equals the output divided by the distance squared. And because distance is squared, that's the key term here. To give you an idea, let's compare two plants of the same light. So plant A is one foot away from that light source. Plant B is two feet away. It's double the distance. However, because it's the inverse square law and distance is squared, plant B is not receiving half the light. It's receiving only 25% of the light that plant A is. That's that inverse square law. Uh, so it's very important that that distance uh, be maintained consistently because if it's allowed to get a little bit too far, you could see here how the amount of light is exponentially smaller because that distance term is squared. Lastly, uh, closer to the light source isn't always better. Sometimes if a plant is close to the light source, it will burn. And this needs to be taken into consideration, especially for um, high intense lights. Uh, plasmas also are advised, or LEPs are advised to be at least two feet away to reduce burn. So again, just because we're closer to the light source doesn't always mean the case. For when fluorescence, definitely want those closer. So keep in mind that closer is not always better. It depends on the type of light you're using in the stage of plant growth.